I've got a car full and we are headed to my favorite store. Yay! Who's ready to go to the toy yeah! store? That was a good one. Hey guys, my favorite store in pretty much the whole world just opened up recently in the Nashville area and I am going to go there for the first time since I've moved to Tennessee and I am so excited. Hey Colin. Do you know what mommy's favorite store is? What? What do you think my favorite store is? Yeah, I don't know. You don't know? Do you have a guess? The place you get your drink stuff. The place I get my drink stuff, the juice bar? Mm-hmm. Mmm. That's a good guess. I do like going to a good juice bar, but that's not my favorite store. Good guess though, Colin. What is it? <laughs> Let's see if Daddy knows what my favorite store is. Jason? Yes. What do you think my favorite store in the whole world? Oh, I know. Is? What? Costco. Costco? Target? <laughs> Target's a good guess. I don't know where Costco came from, but Target's a good guess, but that's not where I'm going today. Any other guesses? Favorite store? Mm, that's all I got. Colin doesn't know what my favorite store is. Jason's not sure. Let's see if the girls can guess what my favorite store is that I'm gonna go to today because they just opened in Nashville recently and I'm so super excited. I think they're down in the garage having a dance party with their friends. Let's see. Yeah. Hello. Hello. What are you guys doing? Uh, it's party, party, getting ready for a dance party. Oh, can I ask you a question? Sure. Okay. Oh, is coming too. I hear, oh, yep, there's Sandy. I'm getting ready to go to my favorite store. My favorite store, I'm so excited to go there today. What store do you think I'm going to? Addie, do you have a guess? A clothing store or something? What clothing store do you think? I don't know. You don't know? Uh, Dillard's. <laughs> Dillard's, okay. That's a good guess. Caroline, do you have a guess? Uh, My favorite store. No. Target, Target's a good guess, that's a good guess, but it's not Target's it. Target's amazing. Well, I'm gonna go. Does anyone wanna go with me? Uh, I need to know. Where are we going first? <laughs> it is a store that just opened in Tennessee recently. So we have not been there in Tennessee. We've been there in Arizona. FAO Shorts? No. FAO uh, Shorts would be fun, but that is not it. Can you give me a clue? Is it like an activity store where you do something? It really is not an activity store. Okay, then so basically you just Is it buy like a toy store clothes? It's where I go to buy things. So it's not an activity store. Sometimes they have little activities out that you can do, but that's about all I'm gonna oh. say. Is it Costco where you get to go and sample stuff? You're I the second person to get Costco. Really? It's not Costco. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think the girls wanna go with me, so I'm gonna leave them to do their dance party soon. So you can turn the music back on, and I'm gonna go to my favorite store. Maybe Colin will come with me. Colin, do you wanna go to mommy's favorite store with me? To my favorite store in the whole wide world? Uh-huh. Yeah? You uh -huh. come with me? Uh-huh. Colin, what a good sport he is. He has no idea where we're going, but he is down to join me at my favorite store. Let's go! Let's go! Uh -huh. We're gonna go to the favorite store! Uh -huh. With those two? Uh -huh. Did you guys change your mind? Yeah. You wanna come see what my favorite store is? Yeah. Oh, okay, everybody yeah. pile in. All right. I've got a car full and we are headed to my favorite store. Yay! Who is ready to go to the yeah. toilet paper store? Yeah. The toilet paper store, you ready for it? Oh, no, not the toilet paper store. Wait, <laughs> that's my favorite store. <laughs> no, it's not. No, not the toilet no, paper it's store? Not. No, it's not. What about you, Mike? You wanna go to the toilet paper store? No. Colin, do you wanna go to the toilet paper store? You do? <laughs> oh, perfect. Toilet paper. My favorite store is not the toilet paper store. All right, let's go. We've arrived, we're in the parking lot. Now, kiddos, if you yes. look behind you, you can see our destination. Lakeshore Learning? Lakeshore Learning! Wait, what? Aren't you excited? <laughs> uh, you remember Lakeshore Learning? Yeah. 
Yeah. Do you remember it, Maya? Yep. It's super fun, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't been to Lakeshore Learning, it's the best store ever. Now, I used to be a teacher, so I love like teachery stores, but it's more than a teacher store. It's a store for parents. It's filled with all sorts of learning activities and learning resources, arts and crafts, toys that are great for manipulation and developmental toys, and it's just so much fun, and I'm so excited. I know I'm a little nerdy teacher over here, but I'm excited to go to Lakeshore Learning. I think you're gonna like it too if you haven't ever been to one. Let's go! <laughs> When we first moved to Tennessee and I realized they did not have Lakeshore Learnings in our area, I was really sad. So I was super excited when I realized that this one recently opened up in the spring and I'm so excited to step foot and do it. Oh wow, so we have fascinating facts, the human body, that's cool. And then what is this, Colin? It's, it's trucks. They're trucks? And you need to build it. Nick or Matt Jr. Oh, that's neat too. Yeah. This is one of the things that I came here for. It's Alphabet Sounds teaching tubs. So there's different tubs that begin with different letters. And in each tub, there's all sorts of manipulatives that begin with that letter. So kids can learn their letter sounds and correctly categorize things. There's just so many fun learning activities you can do with this. Alphabet Rockets looks fun. We have some of these learning locks. And these What's the Rhyme Sorting Houses look so cool. So we found these floral flowers that we thought we could use for decor in floral spring. Floral flowers. For decorations for what? In spring for our oh, hideout. Oh, I like it. Because we make different decorations for each season. You guys do decorate your clubhouse a lot, don't you? Yes, we do. I love this place because they have a ton of great stuff for your youngest kids, babies, all the way to Addie's age, stuff for upper elementary, and there's just so much good stuff. Now what did you find? What did you find out? Oh, racer car designer kit. You're really into the car stuff now, aren't you, buddy? Now, normally in the pre-COVID times, they have tables set out with just tons of the activities out for kids to play with. So my kids would come here and they'd get to play with all the toys and the learning activities. And it was a great way to kind of test it out before you bought it. And they'd have fun craft events every weekend. Unfortunately, because of COVID, I don't think they're offering those now, but Maybe someday. I like the sofas, girls. Yes, I think we found the perfect sofa for a hideout. For the hideout. Those yeah. are pretty perfect and they're really colorful too. Moms out there watching, how many of you had geo boards when you were in elementary school? The rubber bands you wrap around these, I used to love these. Self inking coin stamps. This would be kind of fun for learning about money. Yeah. I have coin stamps. Yeah. And they have all sorts of games and activities for learning about money and time down here. What did you find now? Oh, bouncy balls. Colin, you've been adding a lot to my cart. I don't think I put very, this I did not put in here, Adventure Castle. Wow. We might have to empty the cart out pretty soon. A bug city. Bug city. Wow, what There's is that? There's little lizards. We're not gonna get a spider in there. <laughs> that looks fun. Yeah. An ant farm. I always wanted an ant farm as a kid. Although as a parent, I don't think I want an ant farm in my house. Look, you have to find the matching key to unlock the lock. This is a lowercase g and an uppercase g. And it unlocks the lock if you put it in. Did you catch a fish? What does it say on it? There's sight words on it. That's the word you. You. Yeah, like you. Foam sensory paint. Does that look like fun? Uh, yeah? Uh -huh, but no. I think this looks really cool. No, I want my castle. Where'd your castle go? Did we lose it? It took it. Oh no, did I take it out of the cart? I think I did. <laughs> oh man. Fun. This is like something like you would like, Maya. Ribbons for your wrist. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like you have 100%. So what did you guys think? Did you love Lakeshore Learning? Yep. Yeah, it was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Is it the best store ever? 
Yeah. Not quite convinced. Not quite. <laughs> it leaks for learning your favorite store now, Maria. Kind of. Kind of? Just kind of? Well, it's still my favorite store and I'm excited to go home and get all my learning supplies out and start the learning at our house. I'm super pumped. The teacher in me is so excited about my Alphabet Sounds teaching tops. I can't wait to have some fun learning activities with these. So it looks like all the tubs are not put together, so I'm gonna be busy for a while assembling all of my letter tubs. But that's okay, it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm excited to get this all organized. Well, it took some time, but I got all of the bins put together. So each of the bins has letter B sticker on top of it, a letter B on the side of it, and then if you open it up, it actually has the answer key to all the miniatures that you can find inside of the bin. The next step is to get all the miniatures inside the bins, but I think I need to call in some help. So Addie, come over here. I need some reinforcements. All right. Can you help me put together my bins? Sure, what do we do? Colin? Well, in each of these bins, we mm -hmm. have a bunch of miniatures that need to go inside that begin with All each right. letter. Okay. For example, in the D bin, you have to find a domino, a dolphin, a donut, a duck, a dinosaur, and a dog. And all that is one side here. Okay. Okay, I'm looking for a mirror, a mouse, and a mug. Mirror, mouse, ooh, and that's, that's a koala bear, not a mouse. Oh, is this a mouse? Nose. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> it took some time, but all the bins and buckets are put together, yes. all stuffed with all the miniatures, and we're ready to learn. Look, we have some letters here. What letter is this? P. P. What sound does P make? P. 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 And then we have the letter. What is that? What is this? I don't know. A T. Say T, T, T. T. And then what letter is this? S. And S says S, 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 S. So we're gonna put each of these objects in the box, in the bucket, that makes the same sound as the object. So if I have a sun that says S, S, what letter are we gonna put that in? An S, good job. Where does it go? Oh, this this says. Which letter says pa pa? <gasps> the P. High five, buddy. Good job. Mm, another. another one. What bin does it say? This is the letter P. Do teeth go with pa pa? Teeth goes with t t t. T. Good job. Where does it go? You write in the letter P. Good job. Where does turtle go? Does turtle go with s? It doesn't go with the S, does it? Where does turtle go? You're right with the T. Good job. Now where does the pan go? What letter does it begin with? What letter is it? Oh, what is it? Does it say t, t, t? No. No, that doesn't go there. Where does the pan go? Oh, you're right, pan goes in the letter P. Where does the sunglasses go? Yes, they go in the letter S. Can you give me another high five? Whoa, that was a good one. Thank you so, so much for watching today. Make sure you subscribe to Tic Tac Toy, Tic Tac Toy Family, XOXO Gaming, and our newest channel, which is gonna be coming out pretty soon, called Camp Hideout. You don't want to miss it. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. XOXO. Action! Action! Bye!